Welcome to Selenium Master Apache JMeter video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create custom log file using flexible file writer plugin in JMeter performance test. After running JMeter performance test, Users may need to create a report file and do analysis based on the content of the report. JMeter has built-in result file that can be configured in the test. In addition, there is a plugin called Flexible File Writer you can use the plugin to create custom log file. To install the flexible file writer, you can visit the website jmeter-plugins.org slash wiki slash flexible file writer. After you install this plugin, you can add the flexible file writer and write the test result as CSV or TSV file. In the log file, you can use built-in available folders like start time end time, response time, latency, connect time, response code, and these are the fields you can use. You can also include any custom variable in the report file. Now let's look at the steps to use the JMeter Flexible File Writer plugin. I created a JMeter Flexible File Writer example file. Under this test plan, I have added Generate Random Variable Step. So right click on the test plan, click on the Add button. And from this menu, select the config element. Under config element, I selected random variable. And I renamed it as generate random variable. For the variable name, I set test number, output format, selenium master underscore three zeros for the random generator minimum value is 100 maximum value is 1000 in the options i selected per thread user true this means for every user or every thread a new random variable should be generated. After this step, I have added a thread group. So this thread group will be used for the test. So let me change the comment. Thread group is set to generate, let's say, 10 samples and I save the test plan. Under the right group, I right click, click on add, click on the sampler and from this sampler, I pick dummy sampler. So from this dummy sampler, on the response code, I set a function, random function, this will generate random number from 198 to 200. 
This means the number is either 198, 199, or 200. Then response message is OK. And response time is random number from 1 to 10. For each request data, I use the test number as input variable or request data. And response data should be the same as the request data. Under this step, I have added one listener. For this listener, it is flexible file writer. So flexible file writer, this is the plugin and Test result will be saved as test result.tsv file on the disk in the designated folder. So in this example, I put file name c colon slash apache jmeter dash 3.0 folder, then under test log. The file name is test results. Dot .tsv So for the file header I included end time response time sent bytes received bytes and response code and response data For each sample I use the variable from the available sample folders Please remember that I use this symbol as a separator so this file can be imported into Excel for future analysis and here uh, write file footer so for the file footer I just put end of file at two dashes and I also added another step for response assertion so in this assertion response code should equal 200 we will see some failures because in the response code i set random number 198 199 or 200 then we can also see the view result tree as i mentioned before you can also include a file name in this section write results to file then you can also configure what field is you will be including in your result file here we use the flexible file writer so I leave this field empty now I go to thread group and number of threads let's do two users and 10 count, loop count. So total samples would be 20. Now I save this and run the test. So click on the start button. So tests are completed. Now let's look at the result tree. So from this samples, we have four tests passed and all other tests failed. So if you look at each sampler, this one request is 986, response is 986, but the response code is 198 because 198 is not equal to 200. So this test failed. And this is 198. Next one is 198, this is 198, this is 200, this one is 200. So we have 198 and 200. So now let's look at the folder and find out the file. So under this folder, Apache JMeter test log, we have the TSV file. So I right click on the file 
and edit with Notepad++. So this is the custom log file. We have end time in Unix format. We have response time and sent bytes, received bytes and response code and response data. So in each response data, the system generated random numbers in the output and the uh, request data. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can use flexible file writer plugin to generate a custom report file or you can also include any file name on the view result tree or you can also include the file name in the view result as table. Let's say on the dummy sampler, you right click, click on add and listener. You can say view results in table. Now you can add a file name on this table. Let's say let's add a file name. So I copy this file name and here I give it a different name test results uh, 01 let's do this CSV file save now let's run the test so I clear the result clear all then go to the dummy samplers right group and now let's run the test. So tests are completed. Under the folder Apache JMeter 3.0 test log, we have the test results TSV file. I open with Notepad. So this is the custom log file. Now let's look at the test result 01 dot csv right click open with notepad and this is the actual built-in report file so you can use either the built-in report file function or you can use the flexible file writer plugin in your JMeter performance test. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. For instructional articles, you can visit the site www.seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.